The reason Darlington is being refurbished is the reactors have reached their midlife. After about 30 years of service, there are components inside the reactor that need to be replaced. Darlington was chosen to be refurbished uh, because of the economics. Uh, it's a sound business decision. Darlington produces about 20% of the power for the province of Ontario. Uh, and it is actually recognized worldwide as a top performing reactor. It'll allow the reactor to run for another 30 years. The refurbishment project is quite extensive, uh, $12.8 billion of effort over a period of 10 years to refurbish all four reactors. Uh, it's going to employ a maximum of about 8,000 uh, additional people, um, adding uh, greater than $14 billion of GDP to the province of Ontario. The jobs that are being created by this project are fairly far-reaching. Use an awful lot of craft labor uh, to do the work at the plant. Uh, as well, our contract partners, on top of their craft labor, have engineers, technicians, financial analysts. Ensure the locating pins are horizontal on the The Darnton Energy Centre and the associated mock-up will be a training facility that we are going to use for a period of 10 years. Uh, at the height of its use, we'll actually be training 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, we're going to see on my project alone, uh, probably upwards of about 4,000 individuals that will come through the mock-up. Uh, in order to train for a single retube, they'll spend about a year on the mock-up, um, doing classroom training, doing practical training. So in a, a roundabout fashion, um, we're essentially running something tantamount to a college um, for our trade uh, and technician groups. So what you folks are seeing behind me is the west face of the full-scale Darnington mock-up. In front of us is the reactor face. There are 480 fuel channels and then there are 480 feeder pipes. On this side of the reactor, same on the opposite. Each of the circles that you see represents a fuel channel. And inside that fuel channel are the 13 fuel bundles that we use to make the heat to in turn pass water across to make steam, uh, which eventually uh, turns a turbine and makes, uh, makes power in terms of how much money is produced by each of the reactors is about a million dollars a day. So uh, when the reactor is shut down, uh, we are missing uh, about a million dollars of revenue from the Darnington station for each of the reactors. Uh, on top of that, we're spending about a million dollars of payroll for all of the workers who are actually doing the refurbishment. So, you know, nominally it's about a two million dollar a day program. Prior to starting the actual demolition of the reactor, we have to remove the fuel bundles from the core of each of the 480 fuel channels. There's a total of uh, 6,240 of these that need to be removed. It takes about 113 days before we can actually start doing the work in the reactor. So the cost of the Darnton Energy Centre was about $38 million uh, so when I look at the mock-up specific portion of the complex. For me that represents 19 days of production out in the field. Um, quite honestly, we have already, in testing tools, testing procedures, um, testing logistics, uh, shaved off greater than 60 days off of our schedule for the first unit. So the, the benefit of the Darnington Energy Complex has already been realized. Um, every day we save from now on is uh, money saved against the original costs. So what you see behind me is the entrance to our full-scale mock-up. You see concrete mocked up on the wall, all the components on the inside, have been uh, fabricated to a specification of about plus or minus a quarter an inch. We know that because we've actually taken laser scans of the actual vaults and we've compared them to laser scans that we've done inside. And those two laser scans were put on top of each other to make sure there was no misalignment. And, and from my perspective, we're very confident that we have an entirely accurate representation of our mock-up such that any interference of tools, et cetera, that we find here, we know will be down in the station or vice versa. If we know the tools can perform here, we're very confident they'll perform in the station as well. This is not the first time reactors have been refurbished, either in Ontario or in our industry. But for us, um, the novelty behind our four-station refurbishment um, is founded in front-end planning. Uh, we have been planning this project for a period of seven years. The Darnington Energy Centre is, from my experience, the most comprehensive um, facility for this kind of a, a project. Um, other organizations have had similar but smaller scale uh, operations. Um, ours is the largest, um, but quite honestly, um, it will reap uh, and has already reaped benefits for the project um, that have surpassed the actual capital cost of the building. Help TVO create a better world through the power of learning. Visit TVO.org and make a tax-deductible donation today.